you. I told you. I got a lot to say today. <laughs> well, I tell you a few additional things, okay. All right, so first of all, and forgive me for not saying this in the previous video. Happy Diwali, everybody. Yeah. You know why this Diwali is more important than any other Diwali? It's because in 2017, Lord Krishna, through these eyes, Through these eyes, allow the image of himself to be presented to you. So from today forward, you have an image of your God. Whether you know him or not, you still got to come to him. He still is your God. He abides within you. Whether you like it or not, you say, oh, I don't know, I don't give a heck about no Krishna. Krishna gave you your eyes. Krishna gave you your oval face. Krishna gave you your black hair, your brown hair, your white hair. Krishna gave you your smile. Krishna abides within you. Hmm. But anywho, I'm not going to try to force the Lord on you. But I'm just saying, you have an image of your Lord now. Do you not know? Because you were never taught the ancient word. And I believe it's the first book of Enoch. The first, I believe it's either the first or the second book of Enoch. I think it's the first book of Enoch. That said that the day will come when all all would rejoice before the Lord including the creatures of the earth and they would bless this is in the second book of Enoch they would bless the image of their Lord the image of their Lord we live on a blue planet what's so odd about having a blue God <laughs> I know it's so, so, so unbelievable. It's so out there. It's so out there. So out there. Because we, especially we in the United States, we're so little and small, everything scares us. Halloween's coming up. <laughs> Halloween's coming up. So everybody in the U.S. they get scared all the time. Oh, oh! Let a bump, let a bump happen. Oh! <laughs> let the middle of the night go. <laughs> they don't even realize that Lord, Lord Krishna is a trickster. Okay, Lord Krishna, Lord Krishna likes to have fun. So the Lord knows what your greatest fears are. Okay, you turn your back on your Lord. You hate your Lord. You you won't accept your real Lord. You want to accept this fictitious being. You want to accept uh, Christ as your Lord and your God. Let me let me give a little bit more knowledge to you. In your Bibles, first book Genesis. In the beginning. There was one. In the beginning, there was one. You were told that all was created by the Big Bang. Big Bang. Big Bang. Big Bang. <laughs> right. All right. So there was one. Who was that one? Did Jesus say that he was that one? Throughout, throughout the, those few little verses. That Lord Jesus spoke. Sermon on the Mount. Which you did not get the full version of it. Um, you were not taught of the holy law of love. Because none of you wanted to read. Uh, or learn about the gospel of peace. The gospel of the holy twelve. You only want the book that. That Constantine in Rome gave to you. Uh, King James gave to, gave to you. Which was manipulated. But anywho. I diverse. So. 
we were taught that our God is the great I am. I am. Let's break it down to you even further. Je, je, Jehovah. You may call him Jehovah. 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 Come on, break it down. In French, what is je, 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 I, I, je, I, ho, 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 am, wa, 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 means land, land, a lord, Jehovah. You know what that means? I am Lord. I am Lord. I am Lord of all. I am Lord. When Moses saw the burning bush up on Mount Sinai, he went to the burning bush. And the burning bush revealed to him and said, Moses, remove your shoes. You are on holy ground. <laughs> And then Moses said, well, well, when I go to them, who should I tell them sent me? And you were taught, tell them, I am that I am. That right there. That right there. We, we all should have turned around and said, what the heck? You're going to come before the God of all creation and rather than him telling you something that you can use, he going to say, tell them, you you going to Egypt, you about to go to war, you, you about to go into a big fight. Are you going to go to war and say, I am that I am sent me. I'm going to go to work or, or I'm going to go down here and I'm going to stand on the corner and I'm going to have a big sign that says, I am that I am sent me. People walk around be like, what the heck? What the? I am that I am. <laughs> you were taught. You were taught some of Jesus, Lord Jesus, last words. In, in Lord Jesus' words, when the disciples asked Lord Jesus, Lord, teach us how to pray. He said, when you pray, say this, Our Father, who art in heaven. This is what Rome gave you, and this is what's in your Bibles. It isn't what's in the Gospel of Peace. But this is what, or in the Gospel of the Holy Twelve, but this is what's in your Bibles. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive others who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power, the kingdom, and the glory forever and ever. And then we would always finish with our men. Well, the thing is, is that you will always sing, Hallowed be thy name. When you, when you, when you walk by your, your mother, instead of saying your mother's name, you just say, Our mother, hallowed be thy name. Your mother's going to be like, uh, um, uh, what thing got into that boy? Your grandmother be over there with your mother and be like, girl, is he all right? Do you need to take him to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> I am that I am, okay? So again, Je Jeho Jehovah. I am Lord. That's what that means, okay? So, when you start looking at all of the writings and when you start doing your readings, I am Lord, you still don't have the full the full pieces of the puzzle. Okay? So, had you been made aware or had you learned of the Bhagavad Gita, the most ancient writing, the book, along with the Vedic scriptures on the planet from India within the, the Hindu culture. 
you would know that Lord Krishna narrated the Bhagavad Gita before the Gospel of Peace, before the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. You would know had you had you learned about the Bhagavad Gita then when the gospel of the Holy Twelve came, came along or when the gospel of peace then you could see the correlation between things that Jesus did that Christ Yesu did and you'd be like hold up hold up are you sure this was Christ because in the gospel of the Holy Twelve you know what Christ Christ drank all the time milk the milk of beasts the milk of beast and in the gospel of peace he said it was the milk of beast that is to be protein for man you were told oh he ate fish you were told um uh, that paul came and told you that you can eat anything that you want as long as you pray over it who are you praying to you know how many ghosts and spirits and demigods are out here I Lord loves his ghosts and his spirits so much because <laughs> I Lord no you know only our Lord knows how he is and, I, and, and, and you go and you learn about your Lord Krishna I, 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 at the battle of, of Baha, Mahabharata there is a king who he just he just was closed minded to reason closed minded to reason and so he just wanted war. He wanted to. He wanted all the land to himself, and all, all all he wanted was war. So um, there is there 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 is a scene from the movie um um the Mahabharata where whereby um one of the the king's men uh the one of the kings that was opposed to Arjuna and Lord Krishna I can't recall that much of it because of course I don't speak Hindu uh Hindi but the thing is is that uh there is versions out there that have English subtitles so I had to go and reread it but the or rewatch it but the funny part was that um uh, the servant came to the king and said, told the king that Arjuna and Lord Krishna were you know they were out there on the battlefield and so the king was like he was like, that Krishna, that Krishna, he's tricky. <laughs> uh, that Krishna, and that's he was saying that 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 Krishna is tricky. And I'm telling you, the Lord, the the Lord is the one that created, uh, that that created every feeling that we have. He created every every experience for love. He created the opposite for happiness. He created the opposite. For excitement, he created the opposite. He created, he created all of the good. He created all of the bad. So he created, he created the opposites of everything. So I'm telling you something. In all of your lives, there is one who can get you good. I'm telling you, Lord Krishna. Every time you be like into some of your devilment, and then all of a sudden something happens, you be like, ooh, <laughs> that didn't just happen. It just didn't happen. That was the Lord having it to happen. And the one thing that nobody might know your fears, okay? You might be pretending like you're so brave. But secretly, Lord Krishna knows you got a fear of snakes. So, <laughs> you'll be like, da 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 And then all of a sudden, somebody comes around and says, Oh, I got a new pet. Oh, look. And then right there is a snake. Oh! I'm telling you, the Lord is the one that does that. And so, and so, don't, that's why you're told not to, pro, pro, not to provoke your Lord. Mm. Well, I got a lot more to say. It's the Wally. I'm happy. You know what? I it's just me. I live my life with it's just like just me in the world. Send me, send me some emails now. You know if you send any evil things to me, any negative things, Yogi Melissa gonna send it back to you, and you surely not gonna want to, want to receive what you get back to you because that what you receive will be what you intended for me, but it's gonna be thrice for that. So that's why you don't do no evil to nobody because you don't want it to come back to you. Which is 
Lord Jesus' words, but in truth it's Lord Krishna's words because at the end it's the holy law. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you, and it's karma. So, with that said, I might spare you for today, but I got more to say. So for right now, enjoy the rest of Diwali. Sparky wants to say bye. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> bye, you guys.